Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Got another one for you today. I got a good one for you today. Uh, Fabio Wardley, Fraser Clark, uh, in the rematch of what was a really, really good heavyweight scrap uh, several months ago. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Follow me all on social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Also, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. We hit the lock again. This is, I think, 11 out of 12 locks that we've hit. 11 out of 12 parlays. I gave three, four leg parlays. We hit them every single week uh, because that's something that we do. Uh, I, 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 I'm I, the best in the world at boxing gambling, and I share that with you for just $5 a month. Uh, it gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to book you anything. It gets you updated props. Uh, like this, oh, this fight has the props out already, but the other fights don't. So you come over to Patreon, I'll show you how to make money on the props as well. And it also gets you, you can ask the, ask the bookie anything uh, and request a video as well. So it gives you a ton of perks. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, uh, Fabio Wardley. Fraser Clark. It's a good heavyweight scrap. Um, the heavyweights have been my bugaboo recently. Uh, I haven't done great with the heavyweights. I usually don't include them in my lock. Uh, but Fraser Clark and Worley fought back in March. It's three match six and a half months later. Uh, they fought back in Greenwich at the 0-2. I believe that was the main event. It must have been. Yeah, I believe that was the main event um, on a boxer card. This is on the uh, Riyadh, Riyadh card. Should be interesting. Um, Worley is, is come forward. He gets a little sloppy. He throws wide. It's good volume, though. Uh, he's easy to counter. He's easy to time. He's good at long range. When he's off the front foot, he's the quicker guy here. He's got, he's got real power. He's the bigger hitter. And he's the quicker guy. Uh, he likes to be at range. His power is at the end of his shots, right? So he wants to catch you straight. He's not doesn't have great short punches. He throws, throws long straight punches. He goes to the body well, uh, but he throws wide, and it, it's an issue. He's younger. He seems to have the better gas tank. He does get a little wild. But he's got good athleticism for the size. He pushes his jab out there, but you can count over. His jab is slow. You can go over his jab. You can time his jab. It's slow. Uh, his, his right hand off of that jab is his best punch. He's got a right, nice sweeping right hand. He throws it over the top. He sweeps it. That, that right hand, that straight right hand off the jab is his good. It is his best shot. He's got good head movement. For a guy that size, he's got a little slickness to him. He's got a little, he's got a little slickness to him for a guy that size. I'm not saying it's Bernard Whitaker. I'm saying for a guy at size 6'5", 240, uh, which is kind of your standard size heavyweight now, believe it or not. Uh, he's got a little he's got a little, little movement there. And he's an excellent finisher. If he gets you in trouble, you're going out. Uh, that's that's another one of his strengths, right hand, his athleticism. But he's sloppy and he can be countered. And it's kind of what it is. Fraser Clark. Big, strong body, 6'6", 270. Going to have 20, 30-pound advantage, a little height advantage on him as well. Well-placed, educated jab. He moves well for a big guy. Good athlete for that size. Not a better athlete than uh, worldly, but a good athlete for that size. Throws straight shots. Has nice, sneaky jab. He just flicks it in there, flicks it in there. like his jab. He's got the better jab for sure. Um, he stays behind a high guard. He's more fundamentally sound. He's the better pure boxer in the ring. He's the more skilled boxer in the ring. That's a nice, really nice rear uppercut that he needs to throw more often. Uh, can fight going backwards. Throws quick, clean combinations. He's the more skilled fighter in the ring. Um, he likes the center of the ring. He likes using the center of the ring, circling, flicking the jab. He's patient. He can. He can... 
score with the counter right, right hand. He wins the battle of the jab. His power is all in his right hand, though. Right? He's got a really good straight right hand, too. But he throws it nice and straight. He's got a nice rear uppercut. His power is in his right hand. I don't want to say it's a one-fit spot because he's got a nice jab, but he doesn't have any power in his lead hand. It's all in his right hand. All of it. Um, as far as betting this fight, this is a very difficult fight to bet. I'm going to be 100% straight with you. This is, uh, I uh, everybody's been a little bit on my buddy boo recently. Um, this is just hard to predict. This is a really, and I, I keep going back and forth on this. You know, I'm leaning towards Frazier Clark, so I'm just going to go with Frazier Clark on a money line. There is a prop that I like that I want to show you guys. That I think it may be worth betting on. Um, but I like Frazier Clark. On the money line. Does it go the distance? I don't know. Uh, everything here is so close. Worldly by KO, TKO plus 160. I, I don't think that's sexy enough. A $100 bet on Fraser Clark makes you 120 bucks. I, that's the bet I would take. This is a very difficult fight to bet. It's very, very close. The first fight was very, very close. Second fight is going to be very, very close. Uh, Knockdowns is the problem I like. Either fighter gets knocked down. Yes, I, I like that bet at minus 275. I think that's a good bet to make. It's a nice bet. Yes, minus 275. Other than that, it's a difficult fight to bet. Um, you can bet that this is not going to be part of my lock. There's nothing in here. I think it's easy to bet, but my money is on Fabio Worldly to win this. And I, I think it's a nice little prop, but you can take at least one knockdown in this fight. This is difficult, guys. Uh, this, these fights are evenly matched, and this is a difficult fight to score. The first fight should have been a draw. Could have been a draw. Very, very competitive. I, I, I think this fight's going to be the same way. I favor Frazier Clark just because he's a better pure boxer, a better combination puncher. He's got less weaknesses. Um, he, he, Fabio Worley's got the more spectacular strengths, but Fabio's the more complete fighter, more skilled fighter. So, in a very, very close call, and I, I've gone back and forth this on my own. I'm taking Fraser Clark. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Spot Oz Monk gets the absolute best gambling advice in the world. Uh, it is October 6th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.